how's it going guys thank you for checking out this video um today we're gonna work on a interface and I, I'm not sure what it's gonna look like <laughs> um but just bear with me and try to follow along um as in my other video um I will include the source the PSD file in a link it'll it'll be hosted on my DeviantArt page so you'll be able to get that if you need a reference um as in all of my videos I, I don't really plan them out so everything's just like on the fly you know so just pay attention and if you have to pause the video and let's get started okay first we're gonna have to create a new document go to file new and I like messing with transparent backgrounds I'm not really sure why well just starting out with a transparent background um today we're gonna use 1200 by 600 I'm not really sure that's just what I'm gonna use you can use any size document you want you don't have to put it the same as me um control backspace to fill it with a white um or back color background color foreground you can use alt backspace just fill it with any color that you like and I'm not really sure what size shape I mean what, what kind of shape I want to go with but just for the purpose of the video we're gonna go with something like this and I don't like messing with shape layers so I'm gonna control click on that drag that to the trash can and as you see our selection is still there so create a new layer and fill it with black control A will select everything and come up here to the top and the two right here and the that that one will align at um, vertical centers and this one will do horizontal centers and what that'll do is it'll center it into our document control D to deselect and I'm, I'm not really I'm not really digging the shape of this so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab my ellip elliptical marquee tool and just drag out a selection and fill it with um, say white now the reason I do that is and not just hit the delete key is because I can go down here and make it dead center of the actual object itself now select the layer come down here and hit D I mean delete now we have our we have our interface sort of like the outline okay I'm gonna drag a ruler to the center so that way I can tell what's where the actual center is and my selection will snap to it see that and then just delete it now control J to duplicate that layer and we need to flip it control T to um, bring up our transform tool and right click on it and flip vertical now with your move tool selected you can do that by just hitting the letter V um, hold down shift and drag it to the bottom until it snaps now we have our we have our interface control E to merge those two layers and there we have it now the basic thing about our our, our object or interface is we're gonna have to add some layer styles to it and what we do is we just play with a few gradients like 
I'll just add in a few points and just change some colors up. And I want it to be pretty, pretty light like that. And I'm not really sure what gradient, I mean, what, what I'm actually going to go with. So just bear with me. Now, <laughs> like I said, I'm doing this all on the fly, so I, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and add some elements before I start that, and that way, and it'll be a little bit easier. Okay, go ahead and grab your rounded rectangle tool, and we're just going to drag out something like so. And add a new layer, fill it with white, so that way we can see what we're doing. And we don't need to center this one um, vertical, just horizontal. And come down here to our to our layer styles, and. We don't we don't really need to do much here. But we are gonna add a stroke and a little gradient. And you can you can actually play around with it and see what sizes you want. I'm going to go with a uh, size of two pixels and just the normal gradient with it reversed. Just play around with it. Actually, I'm not even going to use layer styles in this video. Well, I may. But for the time being, I'm just going to do it with a gradient tool. A little bit easier. Drag it from the top. Go down a little bit further than the bottom. There we have it. It's our basic shape. Actually, where it was white. We need to, because it's got kind of a line behind it, I mean around it like a stroke, and we don't really need that right now. Okay, there we go. We have our basic shape. Now, it's going to be like a glossy layout, and I, I believe that's what I'm going to go for. So, create a new layer, and with the foreground to transparent right here. We're going to drag it down 
looks a little bit too much. Just get your get it to where you think it looks where it looks good. Select your um, rectangular marquee tool and delete a little bit. Now we're gonna change the opacity to uh, that looks about right, about eighty. And actually, after you do that, select modify, contract, and we're gonna contract it by about three pixels. Control Shift I. That will inverse the selection and then hit the delete key. And what that does is it it takes away the the shot the reflection on the on the background, like where the stroke and everything is. So well, so it looks like it has a stroke. Okay. Now we're gonna start working on our on the base layer. Control click. Add a new layer. Grab your gradient tool. Same same settings just drag it down at an angle not that much and you're gonna have to play around with it get the one that you like then grab the radio gradient I mean the elliptical marquee and just delete it and okay there we go now we're gonna have to I, I believe we're gonna have to add a inner glow to this as well now add a stroke around it and make it about two pixels now the inner glow that I just added I just changed the size to 11 and the blend mode to normal and I am gonna change the opacity and there we go there you have it okay And now, let's add a few buttons. Um, I want them to be like kind of a rounded square button. So just drag out a square and the reason that um, we're going to have a I, the reason that we're not using the rounded rectangle tool is because I really do not like it. And so drag out a selection and go to um, select, modify, and smooth. And do a sample radius of, let's say, five. Let's see what that does. Yeah. And then fill it with black. And we're going to add a stroke to that layer, just so it stands out. But we're going to do it a stroke of two pixels. And with a color of, like a dark, I mean not really a dark gray, but a darker gray. And we do want that on the outside. And... I'm just doing this really fast so you guys can 
actually just do the buttons how you how you would like. Now we're going to create a new layer with that one um, with that selection and with our gradient tool we're going to add a kind of a reflection on that as well same way Okay, there we have it. That's going to be our button. Now, now that I look at it, I am going to add an outer glow to it. So that way it just looks smoother. I like to change it to normal for now. And I may change it back. I'm not really sure. But not an outer glow. Let's do an inner glow. And... play with the opacity and everything and the size I mean you can actually play with everything on it Just play around with the different layer styles. Styles, there's plenty to mess with. Okay, but I'm not. I'm. I'm just gonna keep it like that for right now, just for the sake of the video. Now I do want to resize it, so we need to make sure that we have that layer selected as well so shift and click on both layers so that way we have them both selected control T to transform them and there we go and there's our basic button and we can actually merge that down and duplicate it now you can add text or whatever you would like to the buttons and do whatever you do whatever you like really And I'm just going to merge all of those. You don't have to. I, I would recommend that you don't. But just for the sake of the video, that's what I'm doing. That way I can just center them all at one time. Um, and there you have it. There's our interface. And you can actually add any, any other effects you would like. Like, for example, if you wanted to... Add different elements to it you could come down here and create a new layer fill it with black behind all layers and center it to our um, interface element and do it like that and we need to resize it it's too big. And what this is going to do, it's going to add like a kind of a 3D effect to it. Like it's going to shadow up under it. And just add a Gaussian blur. Like 
like so. And with our move tool, we're going to have to position it to where you think it looks good. I'll say that looks pretty decent. And there you have it, guys. Um, just a basic interface. Nothing really special. But I hope it helped. If it did, awesome. If not, then cool, too. All right, well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.